thank you for tuning in once again, Baka Crew. I hope you're all doing great and ready for a new unboxing and review. Because today I'm going to be taking a look at the Walmart exclusive Bakugan Expert Pack. This set includes exclusive variants of Special Attack Dragonoid and Hammerhead. So this is kind of a versus battle pack, if you will, which I find interesting considering it includes a special attack and a core Bakugan, so it wouldn't really be much of a challenge, at least in my opinion. Now if we go ahead and flip this set over, as always, the stats are previewed on the back of the box. Um, this just helps out brawlers, you know, you can pick the Bakugan you want, the stats you want, um, without really having to just buy something, you know, it's not a mystery anymore. Dragonoid being in the Dragon Clan, and then Hammerhead in the Misfit Clan. Again, kind of weird because Dragonoid is a Misfit, but uh, I guess that's kind of just a packaging error, possibly. Um, moving on though, Dragonoid, 500 health, 400 speed, and 100 strength, with its special attack piece being 300 health, 100 speed, and 200 strength. Now, Hammerhead, a little bit on the weaker side, with only 200 health, 300 speed, and then 500 strength. So, definitely a strong boy, but the other stats are really low. You definitely want to play map cards with blue zones only, or mostly blue zones. That's it for a review of the packaging. Um, I do want to note that you don't get any character art, you actually get some toy art. Um, and that's new, right? That's cool, that's interesting, I guess that's fresh. Um, now then, as you can see in the background, I am still hyped about completing my first uh, full map zone. So I do have, uh, sorry, ripping through some packaging here. So I do have four um, complete pieces, so I do finally have the complete dragon map is what I'm saying. And I'm still excited about that, so it might be like this for a while. Now I know that means any special attack Bakugan I review are going to go flying all over the place, but it is really neat to finally have a complete set, so I might have to buy the arena soon, I don't know. Um, but as far as Bakugan battles, I will have to get the tin lid back out, uh, but for now I thought it would be cool to just show off all four. So I had a little bit of plastic fly there, but I am using the... Uh, Again, channel beginning, the Baku scissors here to uh, get the plastic strips, right? There, one one went flying there, and then one went flying over here. And Spin Master and the plastic strips. I thought we were finally done with that, but then here, here they go again. So here is the top half of Special Attack Dragonoid. Again, kind of an exclusive color palette, but one that I do find intriguing. You have a translucent, deep, dark purple indigo chest plate there and then a blue colored with the wings and then the clan symbol is even blue so really interesting color choices and i think just all of the walmart expert packs have just really cool color palettes and that alone makes them worth uh worth checking out at least in my opinion and there's the hammerhead we have scrunchy plastic there's some ASMR for anyone who wants it. Oh, that was a horrible pun. I know that was that was terrible. I'm, I'm sorry. Just I know that that's kind of I don't know. Just one of those things. But I'm gonna go ahead and slide Hammerhead together. Um, I guess reviewing the core Bakugan first. Here's uh, Hammerhead. So really cool. Again, lots of details. So these Bakugan are painted a lot more than their regular core variants and that is really nice. I do uh, really appreciate that, especially on a translucent Bakugan. So here I'll go slowly turn. There is the tail even. They have it uh, sketched onto the mold. That's nice. And the feet are even painted. We have a little bit of the interior there. The head with the eyes and the arms. Again, peg holes. I will keep pointing that out because I know that's going to lead to something it always does with Spin Master, but a very beautiful Bakugan. Um, obviously, I have a bias. I appreciate all of the translucent Bakugan. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, in this case, the Walmart exclusives just have a really cool variance uh, that no other um, 
wave does. But here is hammerhead all closed up. Very nice. Moving on though, kind of get a better zoom function. I know my camera quality a little less than uh, pleasing, right? But my bad. I at least try to keep the videos entertaining because I know how much the quality kind of yeah, right makes you want to click off. But uh, here is the special attack dragonoid, of course, on the uh, the spin wheel, if you will. Um, another thing really cool that I like about this set is it comes with a blue. A special attack piece so no longer do you have to worry about the generic yellow um, I know the Street Brawl um, series came with gray and then the battle packs you know you have an orange one here or there the diamond clear but blue uh, personally I just like blue it's my favorite color so uh, having it as an option really nice and then speaking of blue this special attack dragonoid has the uh, I would say almost the same bottom as the Street Brawl Ventry, um, at least in color. I don't know if there's any differences in the actual mold itself, but it kind of looks like the same. If I were to uh, just guess off the top of my head, almost looks the exact same. But Dragonoid, just a ton of detail. And I didn't mention earlier, uh, but there's even silver on the uh, arms for, I guess, the, the gauntlets or uh, armor. But that looks really neat. Ton of detail again, that same silver is on the uh, upper legs for, I'm assuming again, more armor, but really, really awesome mold. Good design, good Bakugan. To close, you just simply fold everything over more or less. I don't think it's really, uh, well, it might be. I don't know, what's, what's going on? I have no idea, what is that? I'm confused, am I missing something? Surely I'm not. No. Okay, I'm not crazy. Sorry, everyone. I, I'm just kind of hard. Usually I'm doing this looking through the lens of my camera, so I don't really correspond. There's like a small difference, I guess. I don't know really how to explain it. Uh, but there is the special attack Dragonoid closed. I will, of course, showcase the rolling features, the spinning attack. But it's about time I get a look at those stats. We're seven minutes in and we don't know what the gate card looks like or anything. So, first things first, get ready. It's an exclusive Roblox code for anyone who wants it. There we go. Go ahead, use it, claim your free rewards. And we're gonna do another old channel homage and yeet that right away. There we go. So, interesting enough, my very first Aqua piece. So this is my very first Aqua map. This is, if I can get it to zoom in, the B. So this is the top right hand portion. Very cool. First one, getting those map cards might complete the set. I don't know if I have the vigilance to uh, do so, but it would be cool to get like, right, like, every single map card printed that would be insane um i tried to do that with g2 gate cards but i'm probably missing like upwards of 15 20 cards um it's not an easy thing to do believe it or not uh but here is the card nonetheless we have two speed or green zones and then one blue or strength zone so very interesting um the blue does split up the green so not one side of the card is better than the other uh, but I would say it'd be very tricky to actually land in the uh, blue strength zone on this card. Moving on to the gear card. Here is a, I guess a variant of blade swords because it does look different, at least the artwork. We have this blue trim. At 300 for the health, 100 for green speed, and then 200 for the blue strength. Very cool, but again, as far as names, it is one we've seen before. Just variant, like the uh, Street Brawl series, you know, I think they get just a different artwork. Moving on to the character card for Hammerhead. Of course, it's Aquatic and Misfit. I guess if you land in a red zone or a health zone, you get an extra plus 100 to that stat. So 200 and what? so you'd be 300. Again, still not very strong at all, 
but 500 strength that's not bad right that is really good for hammerhead um i like hammerhead as a character too kind of a uh, reboot of shark tar uh, but still really cool hopefully i'll find the uh, diamond like the diamond in the next waves are looking really sick really clean and uh, i can't wait to try to get it that is hammerhead so very nice then lastly of course it is the dragonoid and this artwork really cool that dragonoid is all silver this in uh, this card that's really uh it's different it's new we have some line work effect on the uh, background but it does say just special attack dragonoid so there's not any other difference 500 for health 400 for speed and then 100 so again it matches the back of the box completely and then that symbol right there if anyone would like to just help me out in the comments down below let me know I don't know what that symbol means I'm completely confused so Hopefully someone can clarify and I will pin that comment um, because I don't know what that means. So that is a bummer. I'm doing a review video and I don't know how to review it. That's a shame. As far as artwork though, I gotta say, really awesome. Uh, just like the Hammerhead, you know, just like all of the character cards, even though they are very odd, you know, they're like half cards. Still, the Spin Master is putting the same amount of quality in the artwork and I appreciate that, right? That is a big deal. At least for me. I don't know if it's a big deal for everyone else, but it is for uh, me. And then another interesting thing, and probably my favorite thing about this set now that I think about it. You get a mini ripcord. Like, how perfect is that? Now you don't have to worry about, you know, giving your Bakugan too much speed or ripping it too much. I know that with the length of the cord, it causes a few of my special attack Bakugan to open. Uh, but I doubt this will happen, right? You have like this perfect, perfect length. It's like the uh, the little card holders you get with the starter packs or the battle packs. So it's like a little copy of that, right? But instead of being able to hold a special attack card and a card, it looks like this is designed to only hold one. And I will go ahead and test this theory. Well, it fits it loosely. Like it's a very loose fit like I'm saying like it probably just fall right out yeah so see it doesn't really hold it tightly but I'm assuming that's what that clip is for um, maybe if you held like a full team of cards so if you had three um, that would probably be a little different but otherwise it's just falling right out still really cool though I think that's really neat um, it is really cute you know you just get kind of a little mini rip cord so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out, right? Like, why not go ahead and test it? Try to get a better view going on. I'm sorry that this video is a little longer, everyone. Bear with me. All right, so this is what it looks like on the actual ripcord. Um, that's really like Beyblade-ish to me. Like, it's just really small, it's compact, it's efficient. And just what I say about the tin as far as being a game arena, even though you can only fit two card spaces, you miss out. Um, it's just travel efficient, it's compact, and for some people, myself included, that matters. So really neat here, we're just going to go ahead and give a little rip. I'm going to put it directly on the card and maybe it'll stay on? No. Oh, it's hitting the tripod. No, don't make the camera fall. And that was a fail. So try it one more time. Again, without the tin, really hard to uh, make things open. Stay on the table. Stay on the table. No, no. Ah! and complete and total fail. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove two cards. Uh, it's like I've said in a lot of my videos, this the, this new wave of Bakugan, like this special attack gimmick, don't get me wrong, it is amazing, but it has its limitations. You, you almost, like you're almost forced to either buy the tin or buy the arena. And that is unfortunate um, in itself. Maybe Spin Master will like change things up Maybe the battle trainer sets help, you know, I haven't picked one of those up yet, but Already like this is the biggest nitpick of the generation that I can come up with is just a playable field But other than that spin master you're fine all good. I still love Bakugan. I still suggest it. I support it But yeah, kind of a bummer, right? But now that we have the tin back time to go ahead and make this happen. Let's go special attack dragonoid Walmart exclusive everyone, Walmart in action.
and Walmart's doing pretty good. Here we go. So that was a very nice showcase for that special attack Bakugan. Really cool. And uh, yeah, in case anyone hasn't noticed, Walmart. Uh, I want this to pick. I want this to trend. The special attack Dragonoid, Walmart. It is the Walmart Dragonoid. Very cool. And then just a quick little rollout of Hammerhead. One thing to note that the core Bakugans still have that rolling arrow. Definitely helps. It helped in G Generation 2 and it will help in Generation 3. Get a little roll going. There we go. Little baby roll. So it's, man, the 10 is perfect for, for rolling Bakugan. I doubt that that's okay because you'd have like almost an open, like perfect stand every time. But if your opponent's on that same space, you know, maybe the Bakugan will hit. There's a little combat there. Maybe worth it. So don't rule it out. I'm going to shoot for it. Yeah, core Bakugan battling in the tin, as well as special attack Bakugan. Let's go. But that does it for this review video, everyone. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to drop a like and please subscribe to the channel if you're not already because 75%, almost everyone watching my channel isn't even subscribed and that is absurd because if you subscribe to the channel, you have access to monthly giveaways and why wouldn't anyone subscribe to a channel for free Bakugan, right? Like it's a chance at free Bakugan every month and you just have to click a button. So please click that button, keep the channel and content rolling. It definitely makes my day. Thank you all. I appreciate the Bakugan community for keeping me going. Again, we are over that 1000 subscriber milestone and it's still climbing and I couldn't do it without any of you. So until next time, stay safe, drum up, and Bakugan brawl with Walmart.